Let's now start this bulletin with our top story, which is about the Black Lives Matter movement. The three words, Black Lives Matter, has now become a rallying cry against racism and police brutality across the world. But it has also sparked a parallel debate about reform versus reducing the authority of law enforcement officials. A chokehold ban planned by France's interior minister has prompted a nationwide police protest and officers in Paris have now downed handcuffs and displayed a banner declaring no police, no peace. The police opine that new restrictions have gone too far and the police officials say that they feel insulted by the claims that they tolerate racism and brutality. Rejecting any parallels with the Minneapolis police force, officials in Paris said, and I quote, when some go overboard, which is a very small minority, it should not stigmatize all police officers. Police unions accused French President Emmanuel Macron and his government of being disrespectful towards the law enforcement agencies. And this comes after Castana promised zero tolerance for racism within law enforcement agencies. Quand on dit zero percent de tolérance dans la police, nous on dit d'accord. The decision to ban chokeholds is part of the government's efforts to stem police brutality and racism in the wake of global protests over George Floyd's death in the U.S. But it has certainly not gone down well with police officers in other parts of the world. Meanwhile, UK Prime Minister Boris Johnson has warned protesters that those who cause disruption and violence will face full force of the law. He also said that anti-racism protests in the UK had been hijacked by a growing minority which was using them as a pretext to attack police, to cause violence and cause damage to public property. The statement comes after boards have been put up around statues and monuments in London, including at the War Memorial and a statue of wartime Prime Minister Winston Churchill. The, I, I saw the police this morning and uh, they've already made hundreds of arrests in, uh, in the last few a uh, few days, uh, and they will make many more because, believe me, they, are, they can see the culprits. The culprits may think that they've got away with it, but they haven't because, uh, overwhelmingly, they are being recorded with, with body-worn uh, camera. And we will bring them to justice, and they will face the full force of the law. It is not acceptable in this country to attack a police officer. It is not acceptable uh, to set out in a calculated way to do damage uh, to uh, public property, let alone to a statue of Winston Churchill. So uh, that is the approach we will take. Other monuments have also been removed ahead of protests planned over the weekend, while the Cenotaph War Memorial has been boxed up in London. The move comes after the statue of slave trader Edward Colston was thrown into the river in Bristol during a Black Lives Matter protest on Sunday.